Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to be using, I call it AND for a more concise conditional. The if else statement worked in the last challenge, but there's a more concise way to achieve the same result. Imagine that you are tracking several conditions in this component and you want different elements to render depending on each of these conditions. If you write a lot of else if statements to return slightly different user interfaces, you may repeat code which leaves room for error. Instead, you can use AND logical operator to uh, perform logical, conditional logic in a more concise way. This is possible because you want to check if a condition is true and if it is, and if it is, return some markup. Here's an example. Condition and AND markup. So if the condition is true, the markup will be returned. If the condition is false, the operation will immediately return false after evaluating the condition and returning, and return nothing. You can include these statements directly in your JSX and string multiple conditions together by writing a uh, ampersand ampersand or and after each one. This allows you to handle more complex conditional logic in your render method without repeating a lot of code. So we want to solve the previous example again so that h1 only renders if display is true but use and logical operator instead of an if else statement. Okay, so down here we've got, we want to change the code below. Basically we're doing the exact same thing as last lesson. So I, if you are curious about how the whole thing works, I would recommend going to the last section because uh, I don't really need to go over this again. The toggle display um, is exactly the same thing. We're switching the state, we have a state of display, and we're doing it down here. And so what we want to do here is change the return value. Okay, so what they're saying is that we can conditionally put the displayed h1 in here based on a condition. The condition can be whatever it, like the, the condition is what renders out here. I'm just going to pull this out a little bit more. The condition can just be this.state.display. So this component.state, which means this.display. And this is a Boolean value, and so it's a conditional value. So we can just write that into here. This dot state dot display. And then we can go and if so it's basically like saying if this is true and because this JSX is a truthy value because it's there, then we're going to render this. This is pretty new to me. I've never actually seen this before. But we need to put this all within a, an object as well because it's JSX and in order for us to run a conditional within the JSX, we need to have it within the brackets. And so now if we toggle display, it comes on and off. So once again, this dot state, this whole component dot state dot display renders to true. And then so within our conditional statement, this is true, this renders to true, and h1 is a truthy statement. And for, so therefore we render h1 displayed. And so right now it's false, and right now it's true. Right now it's false, and right now it's true. When we click the button, we do toggle display. Toggle display is binded to the component, and therefore, when we toggle display, we set the state of display, and we make it the opposite of what it was. So if it were true, then it becomes false. And if it were false, it becomes true. Cool. Run the test, and it looks like they pass. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.